Hey guys, Cyclomania here. I just got done shooting a video. It was getting kind of long. It was about 20 minutes, and uh, I didn't realize that, so I'm not even sure if the whole video is going to post or not. Um, I think I'm allowed to shoot videos about 30 minutes long, but uh, uh, I'll make this one real quick. I just wanted to go over the aquaponics system and show you guys how that's doing. Uh, as you can see, that sage is really starting to take off. Uh, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim all this stuff off. Um, I think I figured out the reason why some of these are yellowing, uh, and that's that's called acclimation. Uh, all the new leaves that are coming out don't have any of that. So uh, basically what I need to do is I just need to come through here, rip all these off, and uh, all my new growth is uh, basically going to be nice and green. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but uh, yeah, that's the problem with that one. Um, you can see that the bell peppers are getting real nice and big. Got the other one right there. It's still trying to catch up. Um, the basil finally started taking off. I don't know if you guys seen in the videos, but it was the same size almost every single time, and uh, it finally started growing. Uh, there's a little mini jalapeno. We just started out in here. Uh, it's doing pretty good. All in all, the flood and drain system's doing really good. It's just about ready to drain right now, and I'll go ahead and show you guys that again. You can see that the water is starting to come up, get everything nice and wet. I'm going to show you guys. And there goes the drain. So that's doing really good still. haven't had much problems with it. Um, every once in a while i got to come out here and, uh, you know, just kind of move it around like that, get it all clean whatever but uh that's the only problems i've had with it so far uh, the tub idea is working really good um it's actually really convenient uh, it's i haven't ever had it like this i used to have it uh basically hooked up to an ro filter and i just turn it on for the for the day and i had a, uh, an overflow of protection but uh this is working out real good um i'm i'm really enjoying this I don't know how much water I got in here right now, but uh, that looks like I got, I've used quite a bit of water. So uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, turn this on. That's been working out really good. It's nice to have water already at temperature. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Uh, for some reason, this barrel I bought at Big R, which is a farm and feed store, it still smells like Kool-Aid inside. And uh, I'm not sure, but uh, blue means that they've moved liquid in there. And for some reason, it still smells like it. And uh, I think I've had this barrel for almost uh, a year and a half. I've tried vinegar, I've tried baking soda, I've tried bleach. I still can't get that smell out. So uh, I'm just going to keep using it, especially on fresh water. I think it'll be just fine. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to get rid of that smell. So uh, that concludes my video, guys. If you guys got any questions, uh, go ahead and shoot me a message or uh, post a comment. I'll get back to you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers uh, and uh, all the emails. I think I finally answered all all 40 of them. Uh, I was trying to get caught up on them, and I wasn't able to get get caught up on them because I've been messing with this uh, saltwater hot tub over here. So thanks, guys.